We are giving this geometry tricky problem to work on. Is it something you can do? We are giving a right triangle, as you can see, it's right angled here. And inside this is inscribed a semicircle. This is a semicircle such that this semicircle is touching these legs of this right triangle. And the question is asking us to find the area of the semicircle. Remember, the area is the space inside the plane sheet. So we want to find the space inside this semicircle, the amount of space it occupies. How do we do that? A quick one. Just remember that for each time you draw a circle, and there is this part of the circle is what we call the circumference. And if a line is drawn to touch the circumference at a point without cutting through, or touches and passes away, we call this line the tangent line. It's also the same as when you draw a semicircle, such that the line also is touching this arc of the semicircle. This line is also the same as the tangent. And this reminds you of a theorem. And what is that theorem? It says that if this becomes the center of the circle or semicircle, whichever, a line from the center touching the arc, touching this tangent at the point, at this point where it comes in contact, this line makes angle 90 with the tangent. And what is the theorem? The theorem is the tangent and the radius theorem. So we have the, the, the tangent and the radius theorem. Now, will this theorem help us in answering this? Let's go back. And what do we do? Remember, we are told that this is a semicircle. It means from this end to this end is the diameter. And if this becomes the diameter, we can get the center. It means also that the center is somewhere here. So this becomes the center of the circle. And if this is the center, what do you do? It means also from here to this end is your radius. From here to this end is your radius. You are free to get as many red eyes as you want from the center. It also means we can get another radius from here. I can trace it down, down, down to this point. I have, this is also a radius. I can also get another radius from here down to this point. Just keep watching. Did you see? I have another radius. So this becomes my radius. And how will this help us? Just remember what we stated here. You observe that this radius is touching this. This becomes the tangent of this particular semicircle because you see that this arc of the semicircle is touching this tangent, this line. So this line becomes the tangent. And if this line is the tangent and this becomes the radius, it follows this. So in that case, it makes angle 90 at the point of contact. And it's also the same with this. This line also becomes the tangent. And if it is the tangent, since it touches the semicircle at a point, it also means that this radius, when it comes in contact with the tangent, it also forms angle 90. So here gives us angle 90. Remember, this becomes our reason. Now, what do you do next? If you look at this carefully, so we can take this off. Now, looking at this carefully, you observe now that this is 90 degrees. You see, we can have this shape in there. And the shape here is 90, here is 90, here is 90. Automatically, the remaining angle here becomes 90. So this also gives you 90. And if here is the radius of this particular, of this particular quadrilateral, it also means that this side is also the same with this. So if here is R, from here to here is also R. So we can label it from here to here is also R. And remember, the total length here is 4. So if from here to here is R, to get the remaining part is going to give us, this will be 4 minus R. So the remaining part of this is 4. So then when you add everything together, it gives you 4 units. Now what do you do next? We also have it that here to here is radius. In that case, from if here is R, here will also be the same because opposite sides 
of these shapes are the same. So here will also be R. And if this is true, it means that from here, so we can have it that from this end to this end is your radius. It means the remaining total length is three. So from here to the remaining gives us three minus R. So that if you add the total length, it gives you three units. And what do you do next? The question is to find the area. So we need to get the radius of the semicircle. We then use it to find the area. So what do we do next? What we need to do next, let's take this off. So using our similar triangle property, you observe that you have the big shape, the big red, right triangle, and that is this. So let's bring that right triangle out. This is the big right triangle. And this side is four units. From here to here is three units. Then we have this small, let's bring this part. Let's bring this part out. Did you see? So if you bring this part out, remember if here is 90, here will also be 90. So let me bring that part out. Here is also 90. From here to here is R. And from here to here is 3 minus R. Now, what do you do with this? This reminds you of your similar prop, similar triangle property. And what does it mean? Remember we said the size are proportional. So in that case, this side is going to be 4 divided by this side, the ratio of the size because they are proportional. It should be equal to this length, which is 3, divided by this. So we have 3 minus R. Now let's work with this. So we can cross multiply this. This multiplies this. We use 4 to multiply the whole of this. We can write it here. 4 multiply. So we have 4 into 3 minus R. Then use 3 to multiply R. So 3 times R gives us 3 R. And what do we do next? We distribute. 4 we multiply this and multiply R. This will give us 12. This will give us negative 4 R is equal to 3 R. What do you do next? Let's move it up. We now have 12 minus 4R is equal to 3R. We cannot take this off. So in that case, we now have to get our R, we add 4 to both sides. And when you do that, we now have 12, this goes off, is equal to 7R. To get R, divide both sides by the coefficients, which is 7. And when you do that, we now have R is equal to 12 divided by 7. You can also write it as, so this is our R. You can also write R as 1. If you divide this, it gives you 1 and 5 sevenths. So this gives you the value of R. You can go with this or this. Now, now that we have found the value of R, let's now get the area of this semicircle. To do that, we have, and if you are returning to us, thank you for choosing to learn to us. If you find this tutorial interesting, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Let's know your thoughts about it in the comments. Share this so that others will learn with you. Let's keep solving to have. So to find the area of the semicircle, we have it that area of semicircle is just to get the area of a circle and divide by two. And you know that area of a circle is pi r squared. Then we divide whatever we have by two. So let's work this out. We are going to now have area is equal to pi multiplies our radius is 12 sevenths. So we have this squared and is divided. So we can change it to this form. Let's keep solving. We are now going to have this will give us pi. Now for this, just remember, for every a divided by b raised to power m, it is a raised to power m divided by b raised to power m. So if you apply it here, it gives you 12 squared over 7 squared is then divided by 2. And what do we do next? We are going to have pi multiply 12 squared gives you 144. This will give us 49. And is divided by two. Now remember, this is two and one. So we have it as pi multiplied by 144 divided by 49. To change this to multiplication, flip the fraction. So it gives you one half. So for this, two here is one. Two here will give us 72. 72 times one is 72. So we have pi 
So in that case, you are going to now have 72. So let's take it up. So we are going to have the area of the semicircle is equal to 72 times 1 is 72 divided by 49 pi. And that gives you the area square unit. So this gives us the area of this particular semicircle. And I hope you really learned something. Let's know how much. I will also be curious to see your own method. If this helps, you don't forget to share with others. Give this a thumbs up. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. Thank you. And I hope to see you in my next class. Till then. Bye.